actually you know what <laughs> whatever i'm gonna put it all the way over here i don't have a concealer brush so i just use this really big one <laughs> whatever i'm not a pro hi lovelies welcome to another video and thank you for tuning in today's video is going to be a quick little makeup routine i went to sephora and picked up a few items some of which i loved and some of which not so much so i'm going to be doing a quick little makeup routine incorporating those products that i loved so if you want to see how i achieved this look keep on watching this is my little makeup bag hmm. laura mercier thank you the first thing i'm gonna start with is a primer you can't see this one it's a primer from laura mercier and it's the pure canvas primer i love this primer because it has sunscreen in it spf 30 so it protects your skin while kind of priming your skin prepping your skin for a makeup application so i'm gonna take a little bit start with a little bit and I put this like everywhere wait I need some more <laughs> I need some more oh, and I put this everywhere my forehead, chin, nose So I apply that primer to my skin, which is going to help to protect my skin while creating a barrier for a makeup application. Then I'm actually going to use, I'm going to use a second primer. This one's also from Laura Mercier, but this one is the Blurring Silicone Free Pure Canvas Primer. I'm going to use a little bit of this and I'm going to put it only in this area here where my pores really show and I'm going to I saw someone on TikTok applying their um, their primer like upwards like that so I'm gonna try it and see what it does oh, no. how do you apply your primer guys tell me down in the comments how do you apply your primer do you apply do you apply it upwards like this or do you just apply it out like that I'm trying it to see what it does to me. Apply that right there in that area here so that it can give me that blurring effect where my pores are. Hmm. Okay. After I apply my primer, I usually go in with a concealer. Um, and this one is by NARS. I have the little <laughs> the little travel size one because I wanted to try out this color before i commit to the larger size because i usually use caramel but this one i thought i needed something a little bit lighter brighter for my under eyes and this one is in medium dark 1.5 so i'm gonna take a little bit of that and apply it here right there and right here some people do this after they put on their foundation but sorry guys i just realized that my AC was on and it's right here <laughs> beside me because I'm sitting like in the light and the sun is kind of warm so it's making me warm so I put it on and I forgot to turn it back on turn it back off before this video so you probably heard that sound in the background <laughs> I'm sorry I'm sorry it's off now so hopefully this is better and I'm gonna apply it right here right there I actually you know what <laughs> whatever I'm gonna put it all the way over here then I'm gonna take this little brush, you know, and I'm just gonna blend that out. I don't have a concealer brush, so I just use this really big one. <laughs> Whatever, I'm not a pro, but it works for me, it works totally fine. <laughs> And that instantly brightens up underneath my eye. Not that I have like dark circles or anything, but it makes me look more awake. You see that? Mm -hmm. Hello. Hello. Then I'm gonna go in with my foundation. I started using powder foundation because for some reason I feel like that one works better for me in the summertime because I do have like oily skin and I can look like a, a chicken ready to be fried really quickly so um, I feel like I wanted to test out using powders again and see how that works and I kind of like powders better you know 
So I've been using the Fenty Beauty um, Pro Filter Soft Matte Foundation Powder and I love this one but I recently picked up this viral TikTok foundation from L'Oreal Paris. Um, it's the Infallible 24 Hour Fresh Wear Foundation and I got the color 330. This color is slightly dark for me but I'm sure I'll get a tan in the summer because I'm going on vacation soon. <laughs> So it should be fine. So I saw this all over TikTok and apparently it has amazing coverage. So I wanted to try it out. I tried it out, seems okay. So I'm gonna share it with you guys. So I'm gonna apply this here. You see that? It's a little dark, right? It's a little dark. It's okay, we'll kind of blend it out. I wore it yesterday and it looked fine. It's kind of dark get out of the sun but you know my my neck area here is naturally a little bit darker darker than my face so as long as it doesn't look too different than my neck it should be fine so I apply that on my forehead Simple nose area here. And like that and see I had some like spots here and it come it covered that up nice nicely. Okay. So it's a little dark for my skin, but once I get a tan it will be perfect. For summer because I haven't really been in the sun. Um, so it should be fine. But it's okay. It doesn't look too different from my neck, right? <laughs> Alright, let me get in the light. <laughs> doesn't look too different. But so far, I like this foundation. I like to go in with this little brush from um, Bare Minerals. This was gifted and I love this little brush. I have the Bare Minerals foundation, but it isn't my color. So I still use the brush. I love this brush and just use it and kind of buff it in, I guess. Just to kind of blend it out. I have some like hot line here. So I'm kind of dusting that in. That seems to be blending a little better, right? Nice. So this is the next product I'm gonna use. First new product that I picked up by Fenty Beauty. It's the Pro Filter Retouching Setting Powder in Banana. Mm -hmm. I like banana powder for my under eyes when I put on concealer. And the one I was using before, I don't remember the brand, but here we're gonna try Fenty Beauty, Fenty Beauty. I'm gonna take some of that powder, oops, not too much, and just kind of put it under my eyes. Oops, I think a lot came out on it, but it's okay. I should probably use a brush to buff that in first, but whatever, whatever works for you. Go like that, and then I'm gonna take a little more and put on this side here i'm just using this little sponge from my foundation <laughs> i don't have all these little fancy brush that everybody have you know that other people have when they do their makeup i'm just i can't it's too much <laughs> it's too much and then you have to clean all of those no so I do like that, I put it over my nose. Oops, I think I put too much on my nose. But put a little bit here and here. And I just let that stay. And I like to put a little here too. Because here it can look a little dark and it can get a little oily. So I put it there too. Here maybe, here maybe, here maybe. This is a new product that I've been using a lot. 
it's <laughs> it's rubbed off it's the bare minerals gen nude latte eyeshadow palette and i love this eyeshadow palette i don't use everything well i haven't used all the colors yet but i love these rich brown colors these shades of brown are so beautiful and i literally just use these two right now but hopefully i'll make it to the rest i just take a little brush like this one nothing fancy and i rub it in the in this one and then I go over my eyes, shadow like that. The other eye, like that. And then I'm just gonna go both like that. <laughs> Get it up in there in this crease. Really get it in the crease in the corners. Ooh, do you see that beautiful brown color? It looks really good on my skin tone. I love it. Then I'm gonna take what's left off and kind of rub it down the bridge of my nose. Like here. I don't like the line to be, I don't like the line to be too def like defined or too harsh, too obvious that I just, you know, just put a little bit there, you know. This concealer is one I usually use in the color Caramel and I'm gonna do this underneath my brows. I'm gonna take this side of the brush, go like that a little bit. And then I'm gonna put this just under my, what side did I wrap? What side is it? I'm gonna put that just under my eyebrows, like here. And just kind of go like that to kind of define my brows but I do it before I before I pencil it in so it looks more natural so I just do that I do need to tweeze my brows so this will help to like kind of cover that up and define it hmm. do you see the difference in this eye and this eye this one's more defined Hello. While I still wait for my brows to dry, I'm gonna go in with this. Well, this is just a case that I bought, but I got this powder from Makeup Forever and I don't have anything else. <laughs> I just like this one and I like the case. So when I do, when they come out with new colors and stuff, then I can put like blush in here and something else, I don't know. But I don't know which color this is. I wish I could tell you guys. I don't know, I don't say it on it. I I'm gonna take this and put it. I'm using this brush. Don't judge me on my broken brush, okay? I'm not wasting a brush. And I just do it here in the corners. There. Right there. And then I kind of go up like that. Next product I'm gonna use is actually new. This is one of the products I picked up. It's the Fenty Beauty Cheeks Out Freestyle Cream Blush in the color Latte. No, Rose Latte. It's so beautiful, guys. Let me show you. Gorgeous, gorgeous kind of brown, reddish brown color. I love those colors on my skin tone or even darker skin tone or any skin tone and the consistency it feels so good and it goes on so smooth and i just put it on my cheeks here right there 
so pretty. Let me go back here, maybe you can see it better than if I... It's so pretty and it goes really well with my bronzer. Even just tap it on like this. And then my cheeks and then I work it up. I work it up into that bronzer so they blend very nicely. Look at that. <laughs> Hello. Cheek a cheek, a little flush, a little flushed. Then I'm gonna go ahead and fill in my brows with the Tarte Brow Pencil now that my brows are dry. And I'm just gonna do it very lightly because I like my brows to look natural. So very lightly. already see the difference in the brows this one's like Wah. this one's like oh hello i'm gonna go in and kind of brush off the excess powder that i put in before under my eyes here then i'm gonna take this mascara this is a new product from L'Oreal Paris, it's the Bambi Mascara, and I love this mascara, it's, the, it's waterproof, when I mean this thing, don't come off, I mean it don't come off, you could be washing your face with soap, it don't come off, you use wipes, it comes off a little bit, but the whole thing don't come off, it's kind of hard to come off, but uh, if you use some like oil, or like some really good eye makeup remover, then it should come off, but this thing is hanging on for dear life, it's not coming off, I mean it's not coming off, maybe you could jump in a pool and it won't come off. You're not going to get the little raccoon eyes from it, so it doesn't like some mascara I wear. I notice I'll wear it throughout the day or if I'm getting sweaty and hot, it'll start to like melt and like drip down into my eyes and then my eyes start burning. I'm like, oh my god, my eyes are burning. But this one doesn't do that. And I love this mascara. This mascara I actually discovered um, from a collaboration I did with L'Oreal Paris. And I have been in love with this mascara ever since. Stop. Stay, 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 stay. I've been in love with mascara. The bristles are fine. Sometimes I like to blink while I'm applying my mascara. And it doesn't clump, it doesn't clump your lashes. It goes on easily. And I messed up. I'm gonna take this lip pencil. I did buy a new lip pencil, but I didn't like it. I mean, I didn't like it. It was a little bit too brown for me. This one is the one I use all the time. I'm going in with my MAC Cork Lip Liner. It's like a beautiful, subtle brown color. And then I'm gonna take this. Then I'm going to take this Gloss Balm Cream by Fenty Beauty. This is a new product that I picked up from Sephora. And I have the cookie jar color which I adore. And I saw this color and I thought I'd try it. It's a pretty pink. It's almost like the color of my lips, my natural lip color. So I'm going to put that in. very natural mm. matchstick by Fenty Beauty in rum and I'm gonna take this little brush and I'm gonna I usually spray this but the spray is too far right now and I put it right there on the high parts of my cheek right there the one last tap to blend everything together I do this Look, you know, very basic 
natural with a little oomph, just a really good mascara that makes your eyes pop. And yeah, 